Well, not only the deer are out this morning, my mountain lions as well. There's no claw, that's a cat track. There might actually be two of them. I'm leaving up right through there, a pair of cats after the mule deer in here. Gotta be careful when you're walking out here. You never know what's stalking you while you're stalking the deer. So just keep your eyes peeled. There's definitely some mountain lions working in here. And they're here for a reason, because there's also deer here. I had to get up, make a fire, put all of our chairs here to dry. Of course, our potty chair, you don't want a cold, wet butt. <laughs> uh, fires are important when you're out here in this cold weather, even when you're just getting ready in the morning. We're not being picky on this hunt. It's a public land hunt. There are 123 other tags or something like that here, because it's 125 total. And, um, so there's other hunters out here. There's some competition. You know, um, the bigger deer and the majority of the deer are going to be on your private land, you know. So here in the public land in the National Forest, there are some. But, um, you know, it's not one of those hunts where you hold off for the monster. You know, if it was a, if one of those hunts, you know, if a better hunt that I draw, I don't mind doing that. But on this hunt right here, we're just trying to get our tags filled, put some meat in the freezer for the winter, and uh, let's see how it goes. Stay with us, folks.
Mom and Pops decided to wait at the blind that we set our trail camera at, in hopes that a legal buck would come in and present a shot. Unfortunately, only does and spikes, which are illegal in New Mexico, came in to drink.
we spotted some deer from about 500 yards away. And we snuck all the way up here. They were feeding out to the opening. For some reason, they turned around and came back into the thick. And we were working through these trees. I spotted them up in front of us. You know, um, it doesn't really matter how big the deer is I kill. I, uh, I'm always thankful. I'm always grateful. It's not a very big deer. Small deer. But I'm, I'm going to happily put my tag on him. I really wish Destiny could have got a shot at him, but it wasn't some thick stuff. There was multiple deer. It wasn't a very good shot for her, you know. Um, she's only been hunting a couple years, and you can uh, shoot the wrong deer by mistake really easy. So I was able to see his rack, forked antler deer. I never had <laughs> it, so let's go find him. Let's go. Biodegradable. <laughs> I always like to mark where I shot from. I usually bring some little flags, but I didn't bring them this time. So some TP will have to do. <laughs> I know during the pandemic, everybody might get mad that I'm wasting TP. You know, but <laughs> hey, that's a better cause. Oh All right, you got your gun ready in case you Yeah.
followed the massive blood trail that's there left. <laughs> this 45 caliber CVA Paramount does the trick, man. I, I souped this gun up for a long range shooting and I ended up shooting that deer about maybe 80 yards. <laughs> but that's okay. He's not the biggest deer in the world, but he's a decent little buck. He's got a real big body and hey, can't eat the horns. And I love the deer meat. We still got two more tags. We got uh, my pops at camp and we got Destiny here behind the camera. <laughs> still got a tag. Let's see if we can fill those tags. So let's see how it goes. This deer on video like crazy. Right in the neck, look. Okay. At least it messed up too much meat. Frigid temperatures and a fresh blanket of snow. Through these harsh weather conditions, we managed to find many deer. However, we were not able to once again close the distance on a legal buck within muzzleloader range. Although Dad and Destiny did not get an opportunity to harvest a buck, they did, however, get a once-in-a-lifetime chance to hunt with partners from three different generations. Stay tuned to the end of the video. We've included some bonus footage that might get you going. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this program. Please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until next time, follow along with us as the adventure with Up in the Hills Productions continues.
horse. <laughs> he was touching it. Mm. He was he was gonna get it with his lips. It looked like he wanted it. Mm. He's just a little twitchy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> We're here checking out the buffaloes. <laughs> we can't believe it. We're here seeing buffaloes out here. <laughs> now we're seeing them buffaloes. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> this one's got a big old wig. <laughs> How come they're all weird? <laughs> oh my god! This one looks like Uncle Fosso. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you suckers. Guess this one, Grandpa, the one that's on the road right here. This one in the road looks like an Ewok. Just go easy. Just go easy. It doesn't look like an Ewok. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with that one? Is, is it giving birth or what? What's wrong with that one? Yeah, she's giving birth, I think. Up in the hills, 